Have you ever had ants in your pantry? If you haven't, then you are most fortunate. For what is more discouraging than picking up a loaf of bread? Your bread, mind you, and finding that the ants had been there first. Or going to your cupboard only to discover the ants appropriating your sugar. And if something isn't done about it, they become bolder and bolder, even to the point of stealing your icebox. As you know, there are various types of ants. There's the black ant, the red ant, the white ant, and your old Aunt Tilly, all of which should be exterminated. Professor J.P. Throttlebottom and his learned colleagues have devoted their entire lives to the study of ants. And what a fascinating study it is. The home of the ant is in the anthill. Here we find two busy little ants building anthills. They're probably working on the five-year plan. From the progress they are making, it will take 20 years. If and when the hill is completed, it is open for inspection. The queen approaches. did a swell job. Upon entering the anthill, the queen goes directly to the maternity ward to await the blessed events. It is at this time that the workers go forth to gather food for the coming generation. My word, here they come with the same ice box they stole from Aunt Tilly's kitchen. After much deliberation, they finally decide that the ice box will not fit in that little hole. So they proceed to return it to Aunt Tilly, which after all is very decent of them. Here we are once again outside the Queen's room. Note the nervousness of the expectant father. Thank <laughs> you. 
And so, my friends, when you are tempted to do away with those little ants in your pantry, remember, they too have a mother.